The racket of gasoline-powered generators and the smell of water-soaked trash piled on sidewalks now define life in Hoboken. Some stores and restaurants are open along the main avenues where electrical power has been restored, but the view of New York's skyline just across the Hudson River entices many residents who still can't get back to work there. Continuing that process of really cleaning up our, our city and... Hoboken Mayor Dawn Zimmer assured a crowd in front of City Hall that the Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA, is helping the city restore services like electrical power more quickly. And FEMA is part of the part of the reason that we've been able to get these substations up faster than usual. I mean, FEMA has been part of coordinating to uh, to help. The, there's been a public and private partnership. FEMA workers, assisted by young volunteers from around the country, are in Hoboken to help people in need of help get through the process. <laughs> David, a local business owner, sought help in filling out claim forms. I'm very bad with computer. David has a food company that lost all its inventory when the electrical system failed. Now I have already power, but I had a lot of merchandise in the freezer that went bad. FEMA supervisor Marianne Ludwig says this is just one part of what the federal agency is doing here. We're called individual assistance, and so we help the individual. We also have public assistance crews that are, are, are out in the city. Private companies are also involved, including the local electric utility, PSENG, which set up a tent in downtown Hoboken and provided hot coffee, charging stations for cell phones, and assistance with power-related issues. But residents themselves are doing much of the work here, cleaning out flood-damaged buildings and homes. New Jersey people have a good attitude, according to AmeriCorps volunteer Sofia Ifreno. I can really feel the Jersey Strong motto here. It's a lot of really great, you know, positive people. Even with all the government and private help coming in, the people of Hoboken face many months of recovery. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Hoboken, New Jersey.